Uh, Kilmeade and friends on the internet, on your radio station, Brian will come to your home and actually uh, do the news for the right price. Really? He's like, a, he's like an auction Boy. Too bad he doesn't have uh, one of the Baldwin brothers on again, because they... Oh, he they, probably does. There are plenty of they, them. They, they are great on radio. They, they have a lot to say. Do they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> they have a, they're, you know, they're, they're all very political. Uh, some are Republicans, some are Democrat. We had Billy Baldwin on our show yesterday, and then he happened to be up on the radio when I went mm -hmm. upstairs to join Brian, um, and he was getting I some callers. I had callers, major, so. like, overseas flight jet lag. And I could not pull myself together. But today I felt more awake. You, you did a great job. We, uh, Brian and I had four days off in a row because we had Friday off and then yesterday That's off. That's nice that you got a day off because I didn't yesterday. I did my regular Fox and Friends <laughs> hit on Monday. Like a uh, continental soldier. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, good luck on that radio thing. You yeah. think it really does a radio thing? I don't know. Does, is it based anywhere in this building? It's in the building. Absolutely. Huh. It's uh, Kill Me and Yeah, no, it's funny. Because it was your big idea to pick her up. And then the next idea. thing you know, and I wanted to carry her up on our shoulders. You wanted to marry her. I didn't want to lift you her up You grabbed her like you were walking across the threshold. I prefer that, quite yeah. frankly. And Brian, we are exactly going to stop killing our own people. But, I mean, it's astounding that they responded so quickly. This just happened last night. The U.N. just announced it last night. And that Libya is that responsive to this U.N. order. Right. I mean, again, as you raised, it begs the question, what would have happened two weeks ago? Could they have stopped some of the carnage there if the UN had acted then. This was 31 days after it started. The United States was very supportive Fine, of I don't the know if you need it, but rebels. I'm going to back here. Okay. Uh, at the conclusion of the of the live TV show, I mentioned that my wife brought home a Paula Dean ham, and we I said sugar. Thank you, Paula, because Easter is coming up on Sunday, and I guess they were having a special there at Shoprite. Isn't she like a Smithfield e ham spokesperson? I guess about. Um, no, we were talking out in the hall. Brian Kilmeade oh. was engaged with Peter Johnson Jr. talking So about I wasn't there. That's why I don't get it. You weren't. That's why I asked you if you had ever heard, heard of, of that place. Heard of the dairy place. barn. Okay. And because uh, Peter Johnson Jr. was asking about she had her, Long we Island saw her, University. her reports like the next couple of days after she had done the lesson with me. And she was all about sitting up straight? Well, everything. No, she was trying to teach me how to be like Kate Middleton's going to have to be as far as how you sit down as a royal. Um, how you uh, how you walk yes, with sir. and by too the bad, way too bad we can't fight with each other on the radio again today oh you could he's got three nah. hours to fill only only tuesdays uh brian once again what channel is uh fox news radio you guys are on 114 fox religious scholars have been putting their heads together to come up with a new bible a new english version and so they've looked at the translations and they've figured out when American kids read the word booty, and apparently booty is in the Bible. Before Congress to. yesterday, that apparently for years his stepson had abused him in some fashion. The stepson has uh, disagreed with this. I, I never did anything, but just stunning testimony, and it brings up the whole elder care thing, which is absolutely heartbreaking. Oh, great! Can I, do you mind? That's a great sweater. Mind if I borrow it? I was like, I'm sorry, what? She was like, okay, can I borrow your clothes? I was like, borrow my clothes? But you'll get them dirty. Right, but I was very cool with borrowing her clothes. This is what only children That's do. That's because you're a taker. That's right. Only children are takers. Uh-huh. That's right. How'd that all work out with Well, her? she's one of my best friends. She somehow forgave me because she is a middle child. If you're child. the only child, you, like, would be, uh, you would wind up with all the attention. Mm, yes, you do. You would wind up with all the new clothes. Because you get of course. all the clothes. All the clothes. In and fact, you wouldn't get any hand-me-downs. That's right. And, well, I did get hand-me-downs from cousins and stuff like that. But here's the point. Yep. I never, ever, ever, I'm not exaggerating, had to share until I went to college. When I got to college, it's sort of the like, first day. Kind of fun. It's not that many people that can say they're a part of something. So. That's right. <laughs> you right. still look like you're 16, by the way. So long. Bye. Thank, thank you. I'm jealous. Why? That was really cool to see her, actually. You know, for somebody... I mean, were you... Those movies were, they were, they were a little past your, your time. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I, remember, I love you. I remember <laughs> my early days, much like the Waltons. You know, we didn't have electricity out on the farm. You had Green Acres, didn't you? <laughs> Green Acres is a place to be. That was a really cool singer, though. You should see Absolutely. the emails uh, I get from Brian. I can't read them on television. Really? Would they be on par with the inappropriate word, as my child Sally would say, that you used toward me earlier? Yes, but the let's be clear. You provoked me. You yeah, provoked but still, me. you said you some the, you, the, right? The viewers don't that, know that you spend Go do his uh, radio show. Wow. Wow. That's important. Well, it is. It starts in... I'm just kidding. It starts, uh, five Nobody minutes and 45 seconds from now. What? Nobody can take a joke.
getting the pretty back. Molly Ringwald, she's going to be on tomorrow. Mom, he wore his shoes and said he got tropical sangria. He got drunk. Uh, he went to the hospital and got an IV, and uh, apparently the short-term problems are none, but we right. don't know about long-term. Does she have a case? Oh, sure. She, she, she has a Brian, case. But Brian, could I have $600? And, well, it I'll turns out the bulge in my pocket was indeed single. 600 And uh, I have them for you. I beg your pardon? No problem. Um, okay, Brian, get out of here. We have other guests. Yeah. All right, fine. Okay, goodbye. I've never been treated so rudely. Oh, wait, I have. I'm <laughs> Let's welcome back Joni uh, Demir and Come Joyce on, House. Uh, it's Joyce an abbreviated House. after the show show, after right. an elongated actual show. Unfortunately, I got to run, but Bin Laden's dead. For more, it's you guys. And uh, actually, it's not us. It's the president, the former president, in a montage put together by our own. <laughs> this Christmas. is my iPhone. Right. <laughs> All right, well, that'll, uh, that'll just about do it uh, for this one. Molly, thank, thank you for you. being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. Uh, now you're back thank to you Boston. So back that to Boston. What's on tonight? Right, right. That ridiculous uh, yeah. Huff Post article or whatever it was. That, you know, it, yeah. is, it is strange. I don't know. I think it makes us smarter in some ways and, and dumber in some ways. I mean, you know, you, you know.